So I'm gonna go over how to put on a vinyl decal or a vinyl sticker. Here I've got a black 12 gauge Benelli Nova that I'm gonna be putting on the camouflage skin. It doesn't matter what shotgun you have, uh, whether it's a pump shotgun or a semi-automatic. They also have skins for scope rifles. I put one on a scope rifle about three years ago on my 308 and it turned out really nice. And so I'm gonna do it again for my shotgun. So let's look at everything we need and let's get started. So if you purchase the mossy oak skin on the back, it gives you instructions, shows you kind of what pieces come in it and what they are for. So the things that you're going to need for this project, an X-Acto knife, because you're going to have to cut around all the edges, a hair blow dryer or a heat gun to make the vinyl form together. And then I'm using a scraper with an, with a end cover and that's what I'm going to be using to smooth out all the bubbles in the vinyl. So in the kit, they give you all the pieces that you need, a long strip, and this is gonna to be to wrap your barrel in. They give you a stock, both the right and the left side, your two pieces for either side of your receiver. And then this is gonna be for your pump, but it's also big enough that you can use extra pieces from it if you wanna cover your trigger or your trigger guard or anything like that. So to get started, we have to disassemble our shotgun and get it down into the separate parts. Sometimes there are three separate parts. In this case, the stock and the receiver are one piece and the barrel is a separate piece. So let's get that broken down. The first thing you'll wanna do is use the straight edge of the vinyl and line it up with a straight edge on your barrel. Next, you'll wanna apply heat to both the gun part and the vinyl prior to putting them together. It helps the vinyl adhere better to the gun part. Now, using your knife, you can cut the vinyl around any changes in the surface of the gun part. And use your soft scraper along the way to get out any air bubbles that might be trapped. I'll put a link in the description below of all the parts and pieces that I used for this project. Now with the barrel finished, it's time to move on to the other parts of the gun. Now onto the rear of the stock, you have both a left and a right piece. Once you get them lined up, apply the heat and don't forget to smooth out any bubbles afterwards. Again, I found that applying heat to both the gun component and the vinyl before applying really helped in adhering the vinyl to the gun. If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. It's important to make sure that all moving parts still move freely before putting all the pieces back together. All right, well that is the finished product. I'm very happy with the product, happy with the way it turned out. It just looks really nice. Thanks for watching, guys.